was in the hills of Chiapas in 1994 that the first shots were fired in the information war. Despite being without phones or electricity, Mexico's Zapatista rebels took the revolution online, issuing a call to arms across the internet for others to join them in a worldwide struggle against economic imperialism. Ricardo Dominguez and his electronic disturbance theatre were among the first to heed the call. I came to New York in 1991. What I was looking for was a platform that would allow me to create uh, a space for electronic civil disobedience. Ricardo Dominguez, Electronic Disturbance Theatre, New York. Digital Zapatista. Electronic civil disobedience is non-violent direct action online. It follows the theory of uh, Thoreau and on civil disobedience that was then developed by Gandhi, Martin Luther King, ACT UP during the 80s, AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power. We never destroy a server. Uh, we never change anybody's web page. We never uh, hijack their uh, name or domain name. In 1998, Electronic Disturbance Theater releases Floodnet, the first automated virtual sit-in software with actions against the Mexican president's website, several Mexican banks, Frankfurt Stock Exchange, and even tries attacking the Pentagon. At one point, the Pentagon fires back with hostile Java applets, crashing the attacker's system. By creating the idea of electronic disturbance, Ricardo found a way to mix his passion for politics and performance with a dash of magic realism and turn it into code. Really, uh, what is a Zapatista is those who can uh, take into their heart the poetic gestures. The, the gestures of information war, which uh, cross the boundaries of what is. For instance, on January 3rd, 2000, uh, newspapers around the world had Zapatista Air Force attacks Mexican military. Nobody knew the Zapatistas even had planes. Nobody even knew the Zapatistas could fly. But if you read the story, suddenly you discover that these uh, Zapatista Air, uh, Air Force were paper airplanes made of many different colors. Inside were messages of peace. So what the soldiers were shooting at were these paper airplanes. And there you have this enactment of a simulation of a gesture which creates this magical space uh, where indeed there does exist a Zapatista Air Force. Because what you're trying to get out is what the Zapatistas say is information war. That is, words as war, not words for war. Inspired by the Zapatistas' ideas, Ricardo and his crew launched their Floodnet tool as the paper aeroplane of cyberspace. I know. Don't worry. Meet Carmen. How are you doing? She's okay, the troops' graphic here. designer, Fine. responsible for giving Floodnet its user-friendly look. I got here. Wow. My flight was late, but I made it. Mm. Mm. So mm. good to see you. She's down from Boston on a rare flesh visit to show Ricardo the new designs for their soon-to-be-published book about hacktivism. The first thing I ever read about um, what we did that was just published, you know, in mass media was a tiny little article in um, Computer World, probably in March 98, and it said something like, beware of worldwide insurrection. And, you know, and, and we're thinking like, oh my God, now we're going to take over the world. <laughs> and it's just, it's so silly because Floodnet, it's a, it's a symbolic gesture. It's not like, you know, it can't take over the world. <laughs> it's just completely hilarious. <laughs> the Zapatistas with their airplanes. We just take that one image and I put that image in and then I cut out the, the years so that you, you only see it when you roll over and you'll only see a part of it. 
the other way that I had it, I guess I've already changed it. I had the date, like, Talks by who it was, Maybe, and then uh, the date was right next to it. Because a lot of this content does have the date mm -hmm. when you go there. Yeah. So Basically, we're doing nothing. Necessary. It's That's an art true. piece. It's a performance. Um, it's, a, it's a performance that mobilizes thousands of people at a global level. Therefore, it's also a threat to any government. Any government is going to get upset if somebody other than them knows how to mobilize large masses of people. The development of the various attack tools in the hacktivist arsenal has been an evolutionary process, with one code building upon the next. Reno is the master of reworking the riff to make the software more fun and more relevant for those who join in the protests. 